Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and we're going to do another segment of iPhone 4 tips. This is for new iPhone users, or maybe some that have used one for a while but may not know a couple things here and there. So this time we're going to cover applications, folders, and multitasking. Let's go ahead and turn our iPhone on. We can do that with the sleep-wake button on top, or just hit the button here and unlock. And here you can see I have applications, and I also have folders below and I can slide over as I get more and more applications. Let's go ahead and show you how to put an application in a folder. Although it may sound simple, you may not know how to do it. So let's go ahead and tap this. You can see that I have something in folders here already. Let's go ahead and put this Twitter icon in the folder. Go ahead and do that, and we move it over to the folder, and it will drop in. Now what if I don't have a folder, or I want to remove it from a folder? Well, let's first remove it, and then we'll create a new folder. Tap and hold, slide it out of the folder, drop it in place. If I want to put it back, tap and hold, move it over, and everything moves out of place, and now it's in place. Very simple uh, and intuitive. It works well. Now if I want to create a folder, I can simply take two applications and drag one on top of the other. So if I want to put maps and weather in the same folder, simply tap and hold weather, drag it over the top of maps, and it creates a folder and also lets me name the folder by typing in here. I can rename it or I can get rid of that. I don't want the folder, so let's drag this out. It gets rid of the folder. Oh, I put it in another folder. Uh, let's put it here. Let's, let's move it here. Sometimes you can see it's a little bit tricky at times, so don't get discouraged. Just simply move things around. When you're done, tap the home button and everything stops jiggling and it locks into place. You can drag from page to page if you get a lot of apps you can just drag over to the side or drag it back come on there we are and drag back tap home again to stop them from jiggling and they lock into place one thing a lot of people don't realize is applications once opened actually stay in a suspend state or what we're calling multitasking they freeze so they stay running and they don't need to reload the next time so what that means is, if I open my mail, then I open Safari, then I open the phone, they're actually running in the background once I exit them by pressing the home button, they're actually still using memory or using storage space, and sometimes that results in your phone slowing down. So what we want to do is get rid of that because we don't want the phone to slow down. So let's go ahead and double tap the home screen, or the home button rather. Once we've double tapped this button, Everything slides up, and you can see all of these applications. There's four here, but if I slide to the right, there's more, and more, and so on. And I have a lot that I've opened, so what we want to do is close some of these. You can see there's an awful lot. To close these, we tap and hold, they start to jiggle, and we get a little minus button. You also delete applications the same way. So we tap, tap. Now, you're not deleting the application from here. You're simply saying, don't run in the background anymore. I'll close you out. I need. I don't need you to run. So we're just closing them out. And this will actually speed things up. If your phone starts to act sluggish, this may be the reason. It does see, actually take a lot of applications to make it really slow down, but it actually can result in slowness. So you see there we have no more applications. We actually have one more thing we can slide to the right here. Actually two. We can slide to the right, we have a volume setting there, or we can stop the phone screen from rotating with this button here. Very simple, and we have music controls as well. Those are kind of hidden. We tap and we go back. Double tap, we're back, we can slide over, tap the screen, it goes back. Now to delete an application, simply tap and hold, and we hit the X. It says, do you want to delete it? In this case I don't, so I'm going to cancel it and hit home to stop them from jiggling, but that's how you delete an application. It's really that simple, and that should give you a general idea of how to use the phone overall. If you experience slowdowns, try closing a few apps, and you'll find that it actually should help quite a bit. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and comment below. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.